Maybe I'm over <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to our lair of lubricious luxuries. My name is X-Ray Pelvis, and this week I am joined by our resident specialist, Surprise Speculum. Hola! <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably... Ooh! Halloween sippy cups. <laughs> nice. Thank you for joining us again. Oh. Okay. Does this mean we can leave? We've got keys. Uh, yep. Uh, let's save that for later. We've we've got a theoretical movie to make. Indeed. Yes. Let's put those there. Is that our Halloween gift? Oh, is that it? So, <laughs> are, is that it? Are we actually in the afterlife? And this is our one night that we're allowed out. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I mean, what do we do? Do we have to unlock the void or something? I, 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 I didn't know keys were an option. No, neither did I. <laughs> I mean, have they been there the whole time? I've been sleeping on them the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be about right. Hello, welcome back to Maybe Movies, and thank you for joining us again, and for the gift of your eyes, um, to stop by and see what mischief we can get up to this week. Indeed, and it'll be quite a bit of mischief, I imagine. Oh, yes. So, if you were with us last week, then you'll know that uh, we are in the midst of mashing together Scream and Pumpkinhead. Last week, we made Ghost Head. <laughs> and this week, we are going to be looking at Pumpkin Face. Indeed, pumpkin face it is. No preamble, let's go straight into pre-production. Yeah, all right. Okay, so uh, obviously we've got a few things to sort out. Yeah. Beforehand. <laughs> oh, before we do, yes. very quickly, because I did make a note, so I didn't forget. Don't forget as well, after this episode goes out, our poll will be up in all the usual places. So it will be on our Twitter story, uh, Twitter story, Twitter pinned post. It will be on our Instagram story and also on the community tab on YouTube as well. And we'll keep that running through to the middle of next week for you to decide which of our theoretical movies should be our Halloween winner for this year and gain the pumpkin crown. <laughs> but yeah, I'll remind you about that at the end. Sorry, you were saying. Right. Uh, <laughs> I didn't start to say anything. I just said we've got some things to talk about. You know, we've got a, we've got a couple of things in play here. Uh, we've got a lot, we've got to kind of locate the witch. It's it's not vitally important, but we want to locate the witch. Do we? Oh, well, see, this is the thing. I mean, that is. Oh no, no, we don't have the witch, do we? No, no, we don't have the witch. I'm thinking wrong. Yes, I'm forgetting things. Okay, okay, all right. So that's fine. That's that's one thing that we don't have to worry about. I suppose the big one is what's our inciting incident, mm -hmm. and therefore who is our bad guy. Well, I mean, if we, if we're sticking to a certain degree within screen, then I. I don't see there being a problem. I think it actually works quite nicely that we keep Stu and Billy Loomis. Okay, yeah. Because I was wondering, do we need to pluck a leaf from the playbook of Timber and Sleepy Hollow? Wow. And say that Pumpkinhead has to be summoned for each kill. Because otherwise we release him and then just everything goes to shit and we lose all kind of control over the film. Yes. Because he'll just be... On a, mer on a killing spree throughout the town. Right, okay. okay. And I thought maybe, again, as long as that's not deforming Pumpkinhead too much, but that kind of works, because then having the two the two people responsible, they kind of take it in turns summoning him, uh -huh. so that we can then, from the audience's point of view, keep the mystery and the whodunit element alive, uh -huh. yeah, because okay, it's, okay. Yeah. we'll only see one of the two of them, because the other one is off witnessing everything through the eyes of Pumpkinhead while it's doing the killing. Yeah, all right. But coming back to what you were saying there, obviously we don't have the witch, so I suppose we now need to figure out... Where do they get the spell from? Exactly, yeah. Wait, mm. uh, well, no, yeah, no, we want, to, we want to do this now, because even though we might want to save it for the third act as a reveal, mm -hmm. we want to know going in how they've gotten hold of the spell, because that will... That will, yeah. That will affect things. I mean, we could just go down the road because they're so obsessed with with movies and movie stuff and movie trivia that I mean you know, are we just going to go with the Necronomicon the book disappeared 
well, I wasn't going to say that, but don't forget, Scream was made in 1996. Mm-hmm. Pumpkinhead's made in 1998. So they've seen Pumpkinhead. As horror fans, they as characters have seen Pumpkinhead and have gone and researched and found that there is a spell. Um, I don't know if that's too... I'm trying to find ways that we can also obviously try and tie into the kind of like the ironic shtick of Scream as well. Because they're such horror movie fans maybe they thought we should try and do that and have found a spell that does the job inspired by the film Pumpkinhead uh, is that too silly is that too meta uh, no you're right you're right you're right because this isn't Scream this is a different story so even though we're still talking about a movie that's about horror movies it's not about slasher movies it's about monster movies mm. <laughs> yeah exactly okay which works some of the same rules apply to Mm-hmm. Monster movies, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say yeah. Sorry, you did. It took me sideways for a moment. <laughs> and I had to really think that through. But I think uh, I think I could go with that. Cool. Okay. I think I can go with that. I mean, I did wonder. No, I'll save that for Act Three. I think we'll save that for Act Three. Mm. In terms of inciting incident, because again, when I was thinking about this the other day, this I actually kind of got going about that. I'm assuming we were still having to include the murder of. Sydney's mum. Yeah, you see, this is the thing. I was thinking, because it might have a different cause. So I was thinking about like how Pumpkinhead start. No, because it doesn't matter. This isn't Pumpkinhead. I was no. getting carried away. I think because we're going with the whodunit, not knowing what is inciting until the third incident, third, yeah. third act works. That is a very good functional part of the original screen plot that we mm. want to keep a hold of. Absolutely. So obviously, we obviously. don't have an inciting incident. It just starts like Scream starts. Okay, so... But without the phone call, we don't have that. No. Just so we know, so we got, again, uh, for those of you who may be new to the show, we are trying to again, make this as a alternate version of Scream with a different, in this case, antagonist. Trying to stick as close to the plot as we can with changes as and where necessary. And we do have the option of a first movie, which will allow us to change one fundamental thing about the film to keep this rolling. Yeah. So, yeah, but I was thinking about it. So the opening, we can still have Drew Barrymore making popcorn. Mm-hmm. Maybe she's on the phone to her friend saying, no, no, I'm just staying in tonight with uh, Steve, is it? Her boyfriend? Yes, I think it's Steve. Yeah. Um, really? You don't say. I have Quato. <laughs> <laughs> Open your <You're> mind. <laughs> Open your mind. Open your mind. I don't. It's fine. I've never been to Mars. You can't prove that. Um, <laughs> so she's on the phone, doing the popcorn. You still get those bits. And she's wandering around. Oh, yeah, no, no, Steve's coming over. And blah, 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 blah. Mm. And then just smash. And Steve gets thrown through the window. So uh, Steve comes pre-baked. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, basically, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, exactly. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, just dispense with any suspense. I just get on with the... With the, yeah, with the horror, yeah. And Pumpkinhead comes in. So you still get the chase. Do we just then, we just advance her parents coming home sooner. And it would it would, can be, they come home, obviously they find the house in, in, in ruins. He chases her outside, finishes her off, and when they find her, she's hanging in the tree, and there's just his shadow disappearing into the mist. Yeah, absolutely, that works... Functionally, it works fine. It's, it's, yeah. Cool. That's a nice big open. Yeah. Let's look at our notes. <laughs> yeah, because I did think, do we want to keep the phone calls in there as well? But again, that's. Oh, you know, no, we could do the phone calls. I was thinking we wouldn't have the phone calls. Because that kind of goes with the ghost face. But then again, at the same time. We didn't have the phone calls. We did We did an equivalent of it. Oh, no, yeah, with we the did. voice we and did. stuff. Didn't yeah, we? yeah. But it depends, because I know we, we as, we, as we said, we kind of knocked a door on the door a little bit of Pumpkinhead with a ghost head. Mm-hmm. By rights, we can do something similar with Pumpkin Face? I think, I think, of... I don't think we're breaking form here. No. So in this case, then, I suppose the difference would be is the phone calls themselves, rather than being about slashes, they'll be about monster movies. Yeah, because the purpose of the phone calls is to taunt the vin- victims. Yeah. It's part of Billy and uh, uh, Stu's vindictiveness. They are still the bad guys here. Mm-hmm. They are still our ultimate villains. So that would still be a part of their plan. Yes, I agree. That would be part of their plan. As I said, we just cheek at that rather than talking about... They're not just talking about scary movies. They specify, what's your favourite monster movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your favourite movie monster? Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. And yeah, they can even say, I've always liked Pumpkinhead. <laughs> yeah. oh, I don't think I've seen that one. You're about to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fantastic. So that takes us through to there, and then where are we? It's, it's the school. It's, yes. it, it's the gang school the next day, and the gang discussing what happened and having that generalised discussion about horror movies. Yes, yes, I'll put, yeah, because I'll put, yeah, Fountain Friends. Fountain Friends, yes, yes. exactly. That, I feel, is actually going to kind of run on rails, that scene. All of that bit is going to be the same. Yeah, we still get the introduction with Gail Weathers and all yeah. that kind of thing, and the stuff about um, Cotton Weary. So the question is... Have they had Pumpkinhead for a year and they used that to kill Sydney's mom? Yeah, right. Well, let's stop for a second and talk about that. I mean, I want to say yes. Mm -hmm. But then there's like, why is it taking them a year? But no, it took them a year to plan everything. In the, uh, no, I think I'm thinking this through too, too hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it works. Yeah, I think their first try was Sydney's mom. I think, I think it works as well because it, it adds to how way off the mark Sydney was in implicating Cotton mm. as her mum's killer. You know, they'll say, and again, it could have even been in, in Gail's book, that the marks on her body could not have been made by a man. Something like that. Mm -hmm. But it, it was her eyewitness testimony that uh, sent him to jail. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So everything with, again, as with the last one, I mean, a lot of Act 1, until about until a couple of minutes, is, is going to run through on rails. You're still going to get Gail on TV, still going to get um, Sydney home. Obviously, her dad's mm -hmm. gone out of town and all that kind of thing. And then... The first phone call. First phone call, which is going to be the same. But we're, again, we're going to have Pumpkinhead turn up. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, obviously, in the original film, Ghostface is in the closet. Mm-hmm chaos ensues yeah this is a monster movie I, I'm, part of my brain is like no scream no no monster movie monster movie smash the door in smash or something like that yeah probably comes in the back way because obviously we, we, we want that stuff with the door don't we ah uh, of course yeah I, I think the other thing that we did mention last week as well which I forgot to mention here we are going to have a pumpkin face costume aren't we that's popular in town at the time mm. Uh, which I was going to say, uh, he's hiding behind the um, the Zadrum sign at the moment, but I think it should look like the little pumpkin up there. <laughs> so you get like the dungarees with the shirt and stuff, I don't know. Oh, uh, okay, maybe. And then we get Jimmy at the door, because he's, he's, he's found uh, a pumpkin mask down by the by the door or something. So yeah, so they've been getting the stuff and leaving it around. And so we can run that through. Wait, okay, I think I, was, I thought it was a small thing. Mm -hmm. I think we have to scale pumpkin head down, because he's like seven and a half feet tall. Oh, that's true. Nobody's going to believe that that monster is somebody in a suit. In a suit. Yeah, that's true. Agreed. Agreed. Is that our biggest movie? It feels like it is. It does feel like it is. Okay. So that's our biggest movie spent. Yeah. Uh, we have to now do all of the rest of this ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good luck. Us. Yes. Uh, so that does lead to the possibility of Billy getting arrested. It does, yeah. Yeah. Cause, yeah, because we want to string out as long as possible that as far as everybody else is concerned, it's a human agent doing all of this. Right, at least for the time being. Fantastic. Which takes us all the way through... That, that's our, that is our act one. Because everything else is the aftermath of the attack. Gail arrives. Mm -hmm. Nobody can find Dad. Billy gets interviewed. I suppose the only thing that we haven't done is we haven't figured out how... Pumpkinhead gets called off. Oh! Oh, shit. I mean, obviously, should Sydney um, will still do the thing, will still oh, go God, onto the computer, send the message to the police. That will all happen the same. <sighs> no. <laughs> yeah, 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 that is going to be a problem. Because he's going to smash through the door, we get the chase... I mean, we haven't got because movie, so we can't do that. Does she have a gun in the house to try and slow him down? You see, everything I keep thinking of is going to be a because movie. Mm, same. Oh shit! I mean, oh shit! It's been a long time since we've been this much on the corner. Yeah. Nobody puts baby in a corner. No, because that's a because movie as well. See, the only thing I was saying was that their intention wasn't to kill Sydney at this point; it was just to put the willies up her. But that's not what Pumpkinhead does. No. it's coming for her see the only other thing is is that for some reason uh, see, it's not like it's not like losing connection is it mm. they don't suddenly lose connection and he disappears she's 
shit. You may have broken it already. I'm sorry, but I think we have. I think we just killed our, our protagonist. Uh, damn. I, I can't see another I'm way. sorry, buddy. I didn't think this through, but... Yeah, I, once he's summoned, he will keep going until they're dead. Mm-hmm. There is no other way. I, I Can you think of anything <laughs> that, that we could we could do that would keep this running? There's got to be something. Come on. So, so she turns up, has, smashes through the house. She does the whole running way. Turns the police, smashes through the door. She jumps out the window, falls out the window, onto the ground. Okay, how about this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but again, it kind of it probably would count as a because maybe that's the problem. We do all the things. She runs up. She has a bit more of a head start going up the stairs because obviously he's not going to have as much trouble getting through the door when she kind of locks the two doors. Mm-hmm. But she gets up there in the, ahead of time enough to send the message to the cops. Goes and starts climbing out the window. Pumpkinhead comes after her. She falls. So if we change, no, again, that's probably me. we say rather than falling into the boat, she falls and hits the ground. No, that's weak. That's really weak. I was just say she falls, hits the ground, and Pumpkinhead thinks she's dead. Yeah. Pumpkinhead likes to check. Yeah. That's the thing. That's what I'm saying. It's weak. It, it's a weak. He likes thing. to play with his dead things, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Oh, dear. Look, I can see a logical point where we can continue the movie, mm-hmm. but it's not going to last very long. Okay. What was you thinking? What were you thinking? She runs away. Yeah. She just runs away, but at this point, it's not—it's not anything like the timeline of Scream at all. No, we, we're going to have to go our own way with it. I mean, it is possible to bring it back, I suppose, on track because by the look of it, Pumpkinhead is only active at night. So as long as Sydney can stay out of its way long enough till you know till dawn, then at least we can continue that way. But again, I think we are going to be under—we're under a very, a, t- a very, a tighter timeline. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so should we? Well, we've started this now. Should we play this through? All right, let's play this through. Let's play this through. So Sydney falls down, and rather than going back in the house, she runs off. Yes. Pumpkinhead chases her. Yes. I mean, if we if we're going to go in, if we're going to go into that, we may as well lean into it. Dewey turns up, takes a shot at it. Uh huh. And obviously the other cop then obviously calls it in. So then we kind of go into a chase film yeah it's a chase film yeah with Sydney trying to run away Pumpkinhead's chasing her because their house is quite remote as well Mm -hmm. so running into the woods the cops turn up they could find Billy there so we can split it that way so maybe in this case they think that he was trying to help you know because they know that somebody else is there they know it's not Billy but maybe they think he was trying to help Sydney and then you know was trying to cover for her Mm -hmm. or he could even sell it like that yeah, somebody. You know, there was somebody in the house. They attacked her. I don't know what it was. It went over there. So they then go in pursuit. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then we can build up the tension with Billy because they're like, "Well, what were you doing there?" And all of this kind of thing. All right. That gives us our act one. Yes. Phew. <laughs> okay. We've managed to keep this going somehow. I think this is on life support. It is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. Okay, so how about this? We've got Sydney rushing off into the into the trees or whatever. Uh-huh. Um with Pumpkinhead in hot pursuit. Dewey and a couple of the cops have turned up. Right, okay. And are in pursuit of Pumpkinhead. So what about Sydney makes it to the road where she runs into Tatum who was coming to pick her up? Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. I like that. That's a good start. I was trying to. Debate. I was thinking getting her into a vehicle is a good starting point. Yeah. Well, my first thought was uh, there's two ways we could do it. We could have a like, run into the cops or something who were coming up to the house, and then so we could have a bit where Pumpkinhead turns up and trashes the cop car, and she gets away in in the confusion. But I think I like the idea of Tatum coming up because it's consistent with what would have was supposed to happen. You know, mm-hmm. she was waiting for Tatum to come and collect her. Right. Yeah. So it sticks with that part of the of the, of the original story. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And it also it means. That that we've got Tatum in the picture so it's like a equivalent of them going to Tatum's house we just lose the stuff with them at the police station uh-huh. but if we want to we can keep that in because they're cross-examining Billy there yes so we've got those two uh, we going. need that to fill time yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> I hate saying that that's the first time we've ever said we have to fill time absolutely Jesus so you heard it here folks you heard it here folks you heard it here for 
Beep, 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 beep. You know. It's no good. You know I can't understand Morse code. The other thing you said. Exactly. So, I mean, this could, we could, it depends. It depends on where they go. Just, do they just drive? Do we say that they just keep driving? We, ooh. No, all right, no, because at this point we we know that Pumpkinhead's not going to stop. Yeah. They don't know that yet. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking we will literally do what they did in the film and go to Tatum's house. Okay, yes, yes, nice. Gives us a brief lull in the action, have a little moment before everything kicks off again. Okay, that's that's good. Um, Phew. Meanwhile... Dewey is pursuing Pumpkinhead? Is he going to shoot? Do we think he's going to hit Pumpkinhead? I think Or do maybe we think he's going to shoot in his general direction and miss? I think he'll take a shot and, he's, and he himself is not sure whether he hit it or not. That's a great plan. I yeah. like that plan. Yeah, that's a good cool. plan. Okay, so we've got a cutaway between the two girls terrified, comforting each other, Dewey's pursuit of Pumpkinhead. Mm-hmm. And then the other cops catch up to him and he and he loses he loses track of him. We, we, we lose Pumpkinhead, yeah, yeah, we have to lose Pumpkinhead. But at this point they don't know he's bulletproof. Exactly. Yeah, okay, so things still still on a relatively even keel. Okay. And that also plays into the, um, the kind of abuse that Dewey gets. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you can hit the side of the barn, a barn door with your eyes open and all that, you know. Yeah. If you're standing right next to it or whatever the thing is. So things like that, they, that would that will serve to fuel that element of of his story because he can say no I hit it well clearly you didn't it's still moving or he's still moving so he must have missed yeah something like that yeah 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 no no a nice little moment yeah Mm. Um, and then what we can do is rather than having Gail turn up at the police station because I know this is still technically in act one but we've We've had to rejig this. Yep, yep. Turns up at the house where, or we can just move, or we can just move it to the police. To we can move the action on the scene to the police station where uh-huh. the cops are back there. And here's the thing on uh, on the radio: Sydney's with Tatum at our house. Okay, okay, okay. I like you. Take that gold yeah. star. So we take can still have her star, turn up. So I was we, struggling how to how we get Gail involved in any of this. Yeah. So we can still have her turn up at the house, and we still get the um, the punch. Yeah. Things like that. Right, okay, cool, yeah, yeah. But then the question is, if we're still, as we're still running in this night, is this where Pumpkinhead turns up at Tatum's? Yes. That was absolutely where it was going. So, oh, this, so this actually would be work. So you have all of that going on at the front of the house, with Gail and all the press and stuff and the police trying to... And in the back of the house, you've got Tatum and Dewey's mum in the kitchen getting stuff ready for the girls. And Pumpkinhead comes in the back of the house. Yeah. Grabs mum. Oh, yeah. Because okay. she's in the way. She's in the way. Yeah. yeah. Because they're trying to kind of turn things on their head. She's there. I don't know. She's preparing something. So she's... Or grabs... Grabs... Does the thing. Grabs the knife out of the, out of the knife rack and kind of tries to defend herself. And then gets picked up and thrown across the kitchen or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, and so so it takes a few minutes because they don't hear anything immediately because of all the hubbub of the paparazzi out the front of the house. Yep. Okay. If we want to follow that through. <gasps> well, what? Oh no! Uh, sorry, it would be t- lifting directly from Pumpkinhead. You get Mom's face at the window. <laughs> no, why not? Yeah, yeah. We'll why not? That. We didn't. We did do that. Did we? Yeah, yeah. We had Maggie at the window, didn't we? Well, we did have Maggie at the window, or Maggie through the window. So we would be re- we would be repeating ourselves. Yeah, we would be repeating ourselves. But I think they get hit kind of like noise and stuff from the house. Are we going to have then just Pumpkinhead just storm out, or does he prefer to hide in the shadows? He doesn't care. He just keeps coming. Doesn't he just he? keeps coming because obviously we, we have, we've got a frame of reference for that. Yeah. Maybe maybe he takes out Mom and just for dramatic effect. He appears on the roof of the house. Yeah, he does like out. dropping bodies and things, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah, so he drops yeah. mom off the house. Mm-hmm. Nice touch, yeah. <laughs> Everything goes wild, cameras and stuff. Uh-huh. I mean, that might discombobulate him for a moment, all of these people, I don't know. Maybe yes, for the sake of the story. Not because movie, but just because for the moment. Uh, cameraman uses his light, Yeah, and it's, it shines in his... Yeah. Which obviously means that it's proves that it's not Billy. I know that kind of loses that part of it. We're past that, because yeah. Billy's at the police station Billy's right at the now. Police station, yeah. So, where do we go next? <laughs> uh, everybody runs. Yeah. I'm thinking into Gail's van. Into the, into the news van. Yes. yes, 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 yes. Yeah? No, 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 I love that. Love that. Because then we've got our little Scooby gang almost. So you'll have Dewey, Tatum, Sydney. Gail and Kevin, is it the the, um, the cameraman? Uh, yes. You know who we've forgotten completely about? 
Stu? Randy. Oh, and Randy, yeah. Again, we can't really put him into it. No, it, oh, oh, this is just all sorts of wrong. But, but then again, at this part of the story, in the original story, Randy's not in this anyway. We don't see him until the next day. Uh, oh, yeah. So I think, we could, I think we're good without that. I mean, if, if we are veering wildly off kilter, they could say... Let's go to Ra- let's go to Randy's because he knows about nah, too much of a leap. Unless there's a moment where he sitting can say, "Well, you know, I had this weird phone call, somebody asking me about monster movies. Who knows about monster movies, Randy?" At this point, yeah, mm-hmm. why not? It keeps us going a little bit longer. Fair enough. So they're heading to Randy's. <laughs> Rand- so Randy's working tonight at the video store. At the video store. So we get the scene at the video store. Great. Yeah. That's what I was just thinking. That's something. We're, we're getting something in here now. Yeah. Which means we can also have Stu at the video. No, no, no. Stu can't be at the video store because he's the one who's controlling Pumpkinhead. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, if we're going to go from A to B to C to D, by the sounds of this, this is how this is playing out. They go to the video store. They grab Randy. I don't know about this. Stu knows a lot about movies, which could take them back to Stu's house. They don't, obviously don't know that he's seeing everything that's happening but I think we're I don't know it feels like it's running away from us here um, have a think about it while you do I'm going to do a very quick shout out alright yeah you do that buy us some more time before this car crash goes properly off the cliff I'm very badly injured this one is for uh, Rob Turner or Robert Turner uh, yeah so he's the brains behind a locally produced comic called Raynard City Chronicles and they've just announced their crowdfunder for their ninth and apparently it's going to be their final episode for this particular run which is due out next year obviously I will put a link to the crowdfunder on Kofi or Coffee, or whatever it's called if you do want to support it but yeah Rob's a great guy he's been running the um, his, his comic for a number of years now and has had a lot of help from you know from local people not just in terms of producing the comic itself but with associated media so like sort of um, and short animations they've done of it friends and local actors who've done voice acting bits for it he does have a channel as well where he keeps people updated about this it seems to have had quite a lot of you know a, got a bit of a following he's put up stuff of people doing cosplay and stuff of his characters at conventions and that so do check it out great guy good friend and of course Rob thank you very much for all of your support best of luck chap (laughs) right okay have you figured it out while I was doing that (laughs) no um right if we follow on from what you were saying so we have the scene with Randy, but actually, Stu knows more about it. See, that's not being fair to Randy. Maybe that's because I'm not Randy. So we can string that out. I mean, obviously, that can be where we're ultimately going. But he will try and do what he can to help because he's got a thing for Sid. As soon as he hears that Billy's in prison, but he'll see that as his opportunity to remain in her orbit as long as possible. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Uh, um, oh, I might have some books on that back at home. Let's go to my house or something like that. Uh, but know, we're kind of leapfrogging between locations, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, I can see the barest outline where we can sort of get to something that might look like a movie. Okay. If we find a reason for them to go to Stu's, then we get the strange interaction with Stu being distracted seeing everything through Pumpkinhead's eyes. Now, he's going to do everything he can to keep them there so that Pumpkinhead can catch up to them. So that gives us a sequence. Mm -hmm. It sounds like then we've had to leave the timeline. Yeah, yeah. At this point, point, I'm not even worried about act structure. I'm just worried about getting to the end of a story. Okay. So, yeah, so they get to Randy's. Well, they get to to the video store. They have a chat with Randy. He tells them what he knows. Yeah. In the course of this interaction, Sid and everybody kind of describes what they've seen. This does tie in. Oh, yeah, I think I had that in a book somewhere. Where's the book? Oh, I lent it to Stu ages ago. And the book that he had... Okay. ...is where they got the ritual from. Yeah, okay. At this point, yep. Yeah, yeah that works. So they, that gives them the, their reason to go to Stu's. Mm. To, to tie in with what mm. you... Were, God damn it, it's still not working properly. To try and tie in with what you were saying about... Stu wanting to keep them at his in time enough for Pumpkinhead to catch up. What about then something happens because Pumpkinhead will turn up at the video store and the video store gets trashed 
and maybe they try and blow it up. So they blow up the video store. How are they going to blow up the video store? I was thinking maybe a gas main or something. In a video store. Yeah, that is a bit of a reach. Just something to delay Pumpkin Head long enough to allow us to keep this going a bit longer is what I was thinking. Because you were saying about keeping them at Stu's house long enough for, for Pumpkin Head to catch up. If something happens at their last meeting, that slowed Pumpkin Head down a bit. Then it would be the opposite. I, d- I don't understand where you're going with that. That was it. <laughs> that was it. Just trying to... That's, no, Stu's trying to keep them there in time for Pumpkin Head to reach. Yeah. Exactly. Why do we need to delay Pumpkin Head? I don't understand what you're saying. Because they can travel quickly. They have access to a car. Pumpkin Head's on foot. It's always going to be behind okay, them. Okay, that's fine. We can even get to the bit like when they leave the store, when they're going to go to Stu's, they get outside and Pumpkin Head's coming down the street. Yeah. So all part in the back of the van. Get in the back of the van! What are we doing with the cops at this point? Oh, God, we've got about the cops. Right. We could say that Tatum had time to call her brother, call the cop station at some point during this. Maybe from the video store. I would have had Dewey at the house when all the paparazzi turned up. He obviously got the call and goes over there, but they have all kind of follow him all the all time up at the same time. Oh. So he's with them. So right. we've got the team together. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So the cops have told him, you stick with them, you know, you're there. What I mean is... Uh... But yeah, there, there could be reports from other people saying they've seen this thing walking down the street. And again, if we need... I know we don't, as we've just discussed, we don't need a reason to slow Pumpkin Head down. But if we wanted to, the cops turn up. And so he has to take a few minutes taking care of the cops. So they try and roadblock him and start firing at him and nothing happens. Yeah, all right. Because then at least then we're still keeping up a body count. Because at the moment, otherwise the body count's only two. Yes. Yes, it is, isn't it? Okay. Okay. Obviously, they fire a hail of bullets at him, but have absolutely no effect, and he just rips through them. Mm-hmm. But as you say, that gives the rest of the gang time to take the Scooby van up to Stu's. Yeah. Which, oh, I'm not feeling too well, man. <laughs> that's all right, too. Yes. Um, okay, okay. So we're at Stu's house. We're at Stu's house. I'll be honest, I'm going to run through this fairly quickly if you want to stop me and fill in some details, that's good. Okay. But, so Stu is acting a bit weirdly, obviously, we've we've noticed this. Mm-hmm. Then we have the conversation about the rules. Mm-hmm. The rules to surviving a monster movie. Yeah. Oh, God, this is really good. This is so painful to do. I think it's dead. I honestly do. I mean, I know we've dragged it this far, but I... Well, here's the thing, because this is... Obviously, yeah, give us your idea. If you can think you can find a way of closing it. Stu spends time, wasting time. Pumpkinhead turns up again. Everybody starts to freak out. One of the people fucking knocks Stu over or breaks something. Stu gets hurt. Ah, Fucking everyone, the phone dead! And they see what happens to Pumpkinhead when Stu gets hurt. Okay, so what about if when they get to Stu's and obviously he's not he's got a headache, obviously not in front of Dewey or in front of the adults, says, look, man, this is a really bad time. I'm tripping my balls off as a way of covering what's happening to him. Yeah, sure. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that that would work. But ultimately, in the scuffle of people trying to get away from Pumpkinhead, yeah. Stu gets knocked over or into something. Maybe something gets broken, a bit of glass cuts him. Mm-hmm. Something like that. Sydney sees Pumpkinhead react. So, are we still? Do you think we would still lose Tatum in the garage? Is that when Pumpkinhead arrives? Yeah, we're on the third act. If if we're going to do this, we might as well up the body count. Tatum was on the original list anyway. Yeah. So let's say instead of going to the um, fridge for beers because she's admitted that he's tripping, does get a bottle of water from the fridge? Uh huh. That's sort of her reason for being in the garage. Yeah. And instead of her getting through the garage door. Pumpkinhead just tears through the garage or rips the door open. Yep. And yeah, there's has a scuffle, but he pulls the head off or whatever. Pumpkinhead bursts into the room. Everybody else panics. Mm-hmm. Knocks into Stu. Bolt gets broken or something. He gets cut. Pumpkinhead reacts. Sydney sees it. Yes. This is where it all starts to get really fuzzy. I mean, oh God, I hate this. Mm-hmm. Don't think I've ever hated anything more. It's a shame, because I did have an idea about how we bring in um, her dad. Oh, God, I forgot about her dad. <laughs> oh, no. How do we finish this off? So, Sydney knows that there's something up. Um, 
Yeah, there is a way that we can do <sighs> this. Yeah, no, it's, it's not going to work. I mean, the other way that we could have done it would be to have kind of where we are now earlier in the film. So, no, but that doesn't make any sense because that would ruin that as well. Mm. It would be that they find out the thing, they stop Stu, that stops Pumpkinhead, but you've still got Billy out there to come back in Act 3 as Pumpkinhead. And then the thing I was going to suggest about uh, Dad is, obviously once, once yeah, Pumpkinhead... Yeah, it just doesn't work though, does it? Yeah, once Pumpkinhead's done his job, somebody else needs to be put in place for the next Pumpkinhead, and then we're going to use her dad for that. Mm. But I, I I, can't see it. I, I think it's a broken film, unfortunately. I think, I, th- I think you're right. I mean, we could literally end it with, and Sydney kills Stu. Yeah. However, however you're like, fuck it, I don't care at this point. Same. I'm sorry, folks. Been a while since we've had one of these, but I think... This is a broken movie. We broke it. We tried. You gotta give us credit for that. We did try. Yeah. Yeah, so unfortunately, um, and for the first time in a couple of years, we've actually, uh, we have broken a film. We have. As it is what we do, we will take a couple of seconds to gather our thoughts and we'll be back with our votes. <laughs> I've got seven on the doors. What have you got? I've got uh, six. Okay, so you're up first, buddy. I have to vote for Scream. Um, well, not Scream. I have to vote for uh, Ghost Head. But, I mean, I, it, is Ghost Head a movie? Is that is that what we're... Are we voting for which film, or are we doing is Ghost Head a movie? I think so. Um, I think... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that's my Halloween confusion for you. That's not a thing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I think we are voting for if Ghost Head is a maybe movie or not. Okay. I, we've broken mm. Pumpkin Face, therefore technically it can't be in in this. Yeah. I mean, I suppose we can put it on as a third option if people did really enjoy what we did, even though it's a broken film. Yeah, yeah we could put it on the poll. But for me, you know what? We did some interesting stuff with Ghost Head. I think it is a movie. Okay. Honestly, when I was going through and editing the last episode, that kind of made up my mind of reviewing the footage. Like, actually, yeah, we did some really good stuff here. Yeah, we did do some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, it was enjoyable, and the, the film itself, the actual product itself, is something I would quite gladly go and see at the cinema. So I'm a yes for Ghost Head straight away before we'd even started this. Okay, really. right, yeah. Obviously, I was trying to keep an open mind. That I'm not trying to say that that biased what we did here. You know, it was we were going to have to do something special to. You see, I didn't see a lot of this coming. I, I was quite open minded coming into this, but it just just didn't work. No, it doesn't work because as I said because fundamentally, yeah, as we said, Pumpkinhead does not stop. No, nope. there was a fundamental flaw that we missed. Yeah, but it's it's what happens sometimes. It does can't work every time, folks. Exactly. So as I said, then um, obviously now it's it's over to you guys. The vote itself is is Ghosthead a maybe movie or not? I will put. Pumpkin Face on as a third option if you want to vote for that even though it is technically a broken movie and doesn't even really have an ending. Those are your options. Get voting and we will be back with something else before Halloween. Uh, Otherwise we'll be back here next month with a mashup of some description. Uh, Until then obviously have a brilliant end of the month. Have a wonderful Halloween. Uh, Look after yourselves and we'll see you soon. As always, guys, TTFN.